Welcome back to the show. We've all spent more time at home this past year and without realising it, the clutter may have been building up, right? Mountains of it in yeah. my place. As you're about to see, it doesn't take much to reorganise your life. So, Peter, when yes. it comes to decluttering and organising, uh -huh. you are the expert. Okay. We have a challenge for you yes. from the Today Show. We want to transform this wardrobe within one hour. Easy peasy, OK? So, my first step then is to bring Taryn in, the closet owner, and to first declutter the space. You can do this too at home. So, you out, Taryn in, let's get moving. <laughs> A third of the shoes gone, a quarter of the clothes gone. Your work's <laughs> done, get out of here now. 10 minutes into the challenge, yes. what's next? Okay, you can see the impact we've made. Declutter the closet. Next step is we're going to use these slimline flocked hangers. Yep. We're going to put all the clothes on the same hangers. She's a one, a masterpiece. She a drug at a fast release. Drop it in the boot. And no longer will your boots fall over. Simple tip, no more floppy boots. How much more time we got? We have got 20 minutes on the clock. We're way ahead of schedule. OK, time is up. Yes. OK, what do you think? I think it looks amazing. Yeah, what do you me think? too. I'm pretty happy. Taryn, get in here. Get in here. Get in here, please. So, this is it done. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. It oh. looks fantastic. So, can you maintain this? That's the question. Yes. I'm going to be back in a year. Oh, no. We're all coming. Get rid of these. Off to donation. See you next week. Oh, he's a star. I'll be back in a year. That sounds like a threat. <laughs> I'm pleased to say clutter organiser extraordinaire and the host of Nine's new Space Invaders, Peter Walsh, is here. Good morning to you. Hello, Pete. Uh, hello, Carl. Tell us about you. the show. Uh, How it's does a it work? fantastic new show tomorrow night, uh, Space Invaders. There are three, myself and two co-hosts, Cherie Barber and Lucas Callahan. It's a fairly simple concept. We go into people's homes that are overrun with clutter. We pull all the stuff out of a couple of rooms, take it to a nearby hall. While I'm going through all of the clutter, Cherie does a complete makeover of the spaces. Yes. Awesome. And then Lucas basically works his magic, finding things that to me look like clutter and are actually worth quite a bit of money. I can't wait for this show. Yep. I've been a big fan of yours for many years. I mean, you've worked with a lot of the, you know, the great big stars around the world. Mm -hmm. um, Oprah, um, you know, do doesn't get much better. Uh, that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, this is such a, a great concept because I think a lot of people over the last year yeah. um, have been inside their homes um, and they've collected stuff and it's almost a psychological thing. It is absolutely a psychological thing and I think while COVID has been a real uh, horror for many people, it's also been a real global reset mm. for a lot of people. It's, it's People have really looked at their space in a different way and are saying, how do I use my space mm. and how am I getting the most out of our space? Mm. And I think that's what Space Invaders is doing. It's really helping people to look at their stuff in a different way mm. and to reassess how they're using their space. So we saw you there tackle the wardrobe of, yep. of Taryn. Are you doing bigger projects? What, what, what kind of projects um, are you doing? Each of the 10 episodes is about different people. A young woman, for example, who has had no luck in romance, she's collected all this stuff as a substitute for finding new relationships. Mm. A oh. migrant family who is worried that if they let go of their stuff, they'll lose their connection to their, to their homeland. Yeah. Yeah. It, so each episode is completely different. Generally, the families let go of 80 percent of the stuff that they had in their wow. home. Wow. You know, the other great thing about all of this is, um, it's like a car current affair is my favourite show, yes. especially when they do the neighbours disputes, right? You get to look over the back fence at someone else's... What are you doing with your hands there? Looking over the back fence. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> like a meerkat. <laughs> <laughs> we get to, we get to, to go into people's wardrobes obvious? and things. Well, and it's what's the we weirdest thing you've found? Um, you really want to know the answer yes. to this question? The weirdest thing was probably the baby's umbilical cord <gasps> that was in a Ziploc oh. bag attached to the fridge I as a memento. Look at you, do the body language thing. <laughs> I know. Oh. Um, everything, you name it, I've found it. You know, it's uh, wow. the placenta in the fridge. Yeah. Uh, fridge or freezer? Freezer, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> good point. Um, still, yeah. you know, I do. Don't. Mm. Uh, don't. No. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty much anything you can imagine. Uh, a, a house where the dad had collected every... 22-year-old sons in uni, the dad had collected every single piece of schoolwork that those boys had done since Aww. kinder, and it was in the house. So if you can imagine it, <laughs> I've pretty much seen it. Tips for people. Um, you know, I've actually brought both of you um, a gift today. Oh. Yes, Hal. Um, 
This is actually a year's a year of wardrobe we've decided <laughs> for you. I've decided to buy you a whole year of suits. That's very oh, clever. This is in memory. inspired that idea? <laughs> very clever. Um, you may remember, I'm Thank sure. You. But this is, a, this is a slimline hanger that we used actually in that piece yesterday. If you're looking to maximise the space in your wardrobe, use a slimline hanger that makes a huge difference. Right. Right. This is called a flocked hanger. Don't. And, um, <laughs> don't. Um, <laughs> And um, um, I, our friends at Howard Storage World actually gave us a ton of these and also all the materials we used yesterday. Don't. As they say. Don't. As don't. They, I can't not. Don't. Go on. As don't. they say, get don't. plot. Yeah. OK. These are fantastic. You'll also... Uh, a great tip is turn all the hangers backwards in your closet. Very good. Everything, turn the hangers backwards for 12 months. Every time you use an article of clothing, hang it the correct way. Whatever is still hanging backwards after 12 months... Throw it out. Or take it to Vinnie's. That's it. That's Very clever. Walk up this, your wardrobe. This is a. Baby. This is actually. This oh. is actually. Sorry. <laughs> this is. This is actually a boot. A boot organising tool. If you've got <clears throat> knee length boots, which I know you have a whole collection, yeah, you tell no one about. Ones. Yeah. You cut these to length, stick them in the boot, and the boot will stand upright in your closet. So Sylvia, this is actually a boot organising system I that, that I bought. Oh, and Carl. Yes. <clears throat> I love this. I know guy. that you always get upset if you don't have things do. as well. So yeah, this is does, one for actually. each of you. So these stop it, Carl. So so these are these are things for both. Seriously, you okay. get the Naughty Boy <laughs> Award. Right. The Space yes. Invaders Naughty <laughs> Boy Award. 7.30 tomorrow night on Channel 9. I love it. I don't know. Seriously. You're a star. You're a red rag. You're a monster. Star, Carl. You are. I am a monster. <laughs> Peter, I'll thank be, you so I'll much. We can't wait to see that. You're really good. Coming up next. Just a minute. Yeah, you can have that back. Thank you. Who's the boss? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Pleasure to see you.